ediyor. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Salatü vesselam. Resulullah. Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve man wana. We will read the next hadith in Sayyid Muslim. Still in the chapter in the book of Iman, the chapter of prohibition of suicide. And the next hadith is, I believe, 205. reads as follows. It is narrated on authority of Abu Huraira. Yes, that's the one. 205. It's good to keep track of the numbers. I will read sentence in Arabic, then I'll translate. This way we all learn something new with regards to the wording. قَالَ شَهِدْنَا مَعَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ حُنَيْنًا فَقَالَ لِرَجُلٍ مِمَّنْ يُدْعَى بِالْإِسْلَامِ هَذَا مِنْ أَهْلِ النَّارِ we participated in the battle of Hunayn along with the Messenger of Allah. May peace be upon him. He, the Holy Prophet, said about a man who claimed to be a Muslim that he was one of the people of the fire. Denizens. Denizens. Is this a word? Denizens with a Z? Denizens? Denizens of the fire. Of the hell. <clears throat> فلما حضرنا القتال قاتل الرجل قتالا شديدا فأصابته جراحة فأصابته جراحة فقيل يا رسول الله الرجل الذي قلت له آنفا إنهم أهل النار فإنه قاتل اليوم قتالا شديدا وقد مات فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إلى النار When we were in the thick of the battle the man fought desperately or fiercely and was wounded it was said messenger of Allah the person whom you, you at first called as a, as a person of the fire of the hell or a denizen of fire, a resident of fire, fought, he translated desperately. Shadida means fiercely. He, he fought fiercely and died. Upon this, the apostle of Allah, may peace be upon him, remarked he was doomed to the fire of hell. Some men were on the verge of doubt about, this, about his fate because they see something they see something different from what is being said to them. They saw that he fought fiercely for the sake of Allah. Nah. Some men were on the verge of doubt about his fate when it was said that he was not dead but fatally wounded. When it was the night he could not stand the pain of his wound and killed himself. The apostle, may peace be upon him, was informed of that. The Holy Prophet observed or said, Allah is great. I bear testimony to the fact that I am the servant of Allah and his messenger. He then commanded Bilal to announce to the people that none but a Muslim would enter paradise. Verily Allah helps this faith even by a sinful person. Let me continue the reading in Arabic. فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إلى النار فكان بعض المسلمين أن يرتاف بينما هم على ذلك إذ قيل فإنه لم يمت ولكن به جراحا شديدا فلما كان من الليل لم يصبر على الجراح فقتل نفسه فأخبر النبي فأخبر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بذلك فقال الله أكبر أشهد أني عبد الله ورسوله ثم ثم أمر بلالا فنادى في الناس إنه لا يدخل الجنة إلا نفس المسلمة وإن الله يؤيد هذا الدين بالرجل الفاجر نعم يعني actually the following the following narrations also say Basically, similar to that. So I'll just read them. Uh, <clears throat> now, the following narration says the following. Sim quite similar to this, 206. It is reported on the authority, authority of Sahil ibn Sa'd al-Sa'idi that there was an encounter between the Messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, and the polytheists. أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم التقى هو والمشركين فاقتتلوا فلما مال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إلى عسكري ومال الآخرون إلى عسكرهم وفي أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رجل لا يدع لهم شاذة ولا فاذة إلا إلا اتبعها يضربها بسيفه فقالوا ما أجزء منا اليوم أحد كما أجزء فلان So basically the, the, there was a battle uh, and they fought against one another at the conclusion of the battle the messenger of Allah may peace be upon him bent his steps towards his army and they, the enemies bent their steps towards the, their army. So the two armies met. And there was a person, he, here he mentioned his name. His name is Quzman. And he was one of the hypocrites. 
among the companions of the Messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, who did not spare a detached fighter of the enemy, but pursued and killed him with his sword, which means he fought very fiercely and did not leave anyone that he could actually attack that he did not attack. He attacked everyone he could. They, the companions of the Holy Prophet said, none served us better today than this man. So he said he was the, the, the strongest fighter of us today. فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أما إنه من أهل النار فقال رجل من القوم أنا صاحبه أبدا فخرج معه كلما وقف وقف معه وإذا أسرع أسرع معه قال فجرح, فجرح الرجل جرحا شديدا فاستعجل الموت فوضع نصل سيفه بالأرض وذبابه بين ثدييه ثم تحامل على سيفه فقتل نفسه فخرج, رسول فخرج الرجل إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال أشهد أنك رسول الله قال وما ذاك قال الرجل الذي ذكرت أنيفا إنه من أهل النار فأعظم الناس ذلك فقلت أنا لكم به فخرجت في طلبه حتى جرح جرحا شديدا جرحا شديدا فاستعجل الموت فوضع نسل سيفه بالأرض وذبابه بين ثدييه ثم تحامل عليه فقط نفسه فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن ذلك أن الرجل ليعمل بعمل أهل الجنة فيما يبدو للناس وهو من أهل النار وأن الرجل ليعمل بعمل أهل النار فيما يبدو للناس وهو من أهل الجنة Let me complete the translation here So basically they were very they were very amazed uh, at his performance in this battle but then when they said that, that nobody served us better than this man, the Messenger وسلم, said to them a remark, he says, Verily, he is one of the people of the fire, one of the denizens of the fire. Can you look this word up? D-E-N-I-Z, -E denizens of the fire. One of the people, one of the Muslims said, I will constantly shadow him. He wanted to know why. I mean, the guy is fighting very sincerely, obviously, and fiercely. So he, inhabitants. Inhabitants, one of the inhabitants. Yeah. Denizens. Yeah. Inhabitants, inhabitants. Yeah. So uh, he said, I will shadow him. Then this man went out along with him. He halted whenever he halted and ran along with him whenever he ran. So he kept uh, track of him. He, the narrator said, the man was seriously injured. He could not stand the pain and hastened his own death. He placed the blade of the sword on the, on the tip between, uh, uh, he placed the blade of the sword on the ground with the tip he meant maybe the handle of the sword on the ground with the tip between his chest, like this. And then pressed himself against the sword and killed himself. Then the man following him went to Messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, and said, I bear testimony that verily you are the Messenger of Allah. The Holy Prophet said, what is, the, what is the matter? Why are you saying that? He's asking him what is behind that statement. He replied, the person about whom you just mentioned that he was among the denizens or the inhabitants of the fire, and the people were surprised at this. And I said to them that I would bring the news about him. I would follow him and try to find what's going on. And consequently, I went out in search of him till I found him to be very seriously injured. He hastened his death. He placed the handle of the sword on the ground and a tip between his chest. Then he pressed himself against that and killed himself. Thereupon, the messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, remarked, a person performs the deeds which to, uh, which to the people, which to the people appear to be the deeds benefiting the dwellers of paradise. But he is in fact one of the inhabitants of hell. And verily a person does an act which in the eyes of the public is one of the, is one which is done by the denizens or inhabitants of hell, but the person is one of the among the dwellers of, of paradise. Is there any other narration? Okay, actually, uh, we just wanted to translate here. Uh, inshallah, we'll go more into detail next time. Um, but the, the, the summary of these two hadiths is that this man apparently fought very fiercely and most of the companions at the time were not uh, aware of his fate. Messenger Wasallam, even before he died, he says that he is from the people of the fire and that is why one of the Sahaba followed him closely and learned that, yes, although he fought very fiercely, he uh, was injured and he ended up killing himself rather than being martyred. And that is why when the, the Sahabi, when he saw that, and other Sahaba were really confused as why the messenger is saying that about him, while apparently to their eyes he looks like a very good, very good person. So um, what happened is the Sahabi who saw that firsthand said to the messenger, I testify that you are the messenger of Allah. 
And even the messenger, when he came, when the news came to him, he said the same statement. He says, "Ashhadu anni Rasulullah." I testify that I am the Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu anni Abdullah wa Rasulu. Allah is great. Allah is greater. I, I testify that I am the servant and the messenger of Allah. Then he called Bilal and said to him to announce to the people that only a Muslim will enter Jannah. And there's an important statement here: In Allah, you aidu had the din bar rajul al fajr, that Allah may support. Give support to his religion using even evil people. Allah may use evil people to support his religion. Okay, um, <clears throat> and then he mentioned um, obviously the man um, uh, because the other hadith says he was from amongst the hypocrites. Uh, he was basically showing off. He just wanted to show off, and I think it turned out uh, not what he planned. He just wanted to show off and come out, <laughs> come out safe. But unfortunately, his name was Khuzman. He was among the hypocrites, but um, he got actually injured, and uh, maybe he wasn't planning on this. And then, because he really doesn't believe in the hereafter, he just committed. He made, he committed suicide. Uh, it seems that it wasn't just a sin. It doesn't. It doesn't seem that it was just a sin of committing suicide, because a sin of committing suicide. Would lead the person be deserving the fire of hell, but he may enter it. He may not enter it if Allah forgives, or even if he has good deeds that um, that uh, Allah that, that outweigh the huge sin that he committed at the end of his life. It can happen, and I'll mention a hadith on this matter to you. Uh, but when he says "min ahli nar," the word "ahli nar" is very different from the saying "dakhal nar." "Dakhal nar" means he will enter the fire, or he's deserving to enter the fire. And that could apply to a Muslim or non-Muslim, because a Muslim can enter the fire to be punished and then come out again. A kafir can enter the fire, but will not come out, right? Or will stay there for a very long extended period of time, as we mentioned before. But the word ahl nar, you know what the word ahl means? Ahl in Arabic, what ahl means? Like family companion, right? Uh, we say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. We say ahl al bayt, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh alaykum ahl al bayt, because. They are constantly in your company. Your ahl, your family, are always with you. So uh, the word ahl nar is a more uh, severe kind of description than to announce that he entered the fire. No, he is actually there forever, basically. Okay. So it's not only that he committed this. Uh, obviously, he was a hypocrite on the inside and non not a believer, as uh, as evidenced by what the messenger said at the very end, that a person may be doing certain actions. That appear to be the actions of the people of paradise, but he is wahu min ahl nar. He is one of the uh, uh, inhabitants, the permanent inhabitants of the fire of hell. It could be, it could be that. And the opposite is true. That the other opposite is true. That a person can be doing the, some of the actions of the people of the hell fire, but on the inside, he's always not happy with himself. He's always wanting to correct himself and maybe at the very end of his life he would do the exact office he would actually show sincerity to Allah and embrace Islam and end up as end up as a believer uh, uh, and and be admitted to the to the Jannah inshallah next time I will mention a hadith to you that is very promising that even if somebody committed suicide uh, there's hope for that person to be forgiven. There's a very beautiful hadith on this matter I will mention to you, to you next time. How many minutes have we gone? 13 minutes. I'll just mention it next time, inshallah. Um, uh, what else did I want to say about, about this matter? Alas, we'll leave it till next time just for the sake of time, guys. Okay. No.